this extraordinary summit of the sad heads of state has come and gone. Held in Rwanda, Angola, the summit said very little, if anything, about the Zimbabwean elections, which have been contested by the opposition since President Emerson Nangakwa and his ZANU PF party were declared winners. The SADC, in the only line where it spoke about Zimbabwe's elections in, in its communique, said, and I read, Summit received an update on the elections in the SADC member states and noted the report of the SADC election observation mission to the harmonized elections in the Republic of Zimbabwe held in August 2023 and the general elections in the Kingdom of Eswatini in September 2023. There was nothing more that was added with much of the space in the communique dedicated to the Democratic Republic of Congo, of Congo, resumption of attacks and occupation of territory by the M23 repairs in which it said was a clear violation of the ceasefire. Despite all that, there have been widespread conflicting reports uh, on especially social media and YouTube channels with many who are on the side of the opposition claiming that Zimbabwe was discussed intensely, some claiming that the elections in Zimbabwe nullified, although uh, the SAC itself doesn't have the power, the mandate, and uh, the right to nullify any election in a member state. Despite all this, a member of Triple C who spoke to AVG News from Rwanda claimed that there were intense discussions about Zimbabwe, although he also did not say what finally was uh, said about the elections and the ongoing uh, attempts by the opposition to have uh, the election rerun. Uh, and scaffolded, as they say, by the SADC and the African Union. We listen to Trust Ndlovo, who is chairperson of the Triple C in South Africa, as he speaks to us from Rwanda. On the SADC summit, people should note that most of us on the sidelines, we could not have access to what really transpired inside. But, uh, you know, from uh, the information that comes from inside through other peop people uh, because we are liaising with uh, uh, some people who are very close to the state here. They are telling us that uh, the issue of uh, Zimbabwe elections was quite ter was tabled and uh, uh, it was tense. And uh, if you look at the report or the communique of the SAT itself is just said they noted the report of the static observer mission which was uh, given by His Excellency H. H. Ajlema. They avoided the words like it, whether that report was dismissed or it was upheld. They just say it was noted. So uh, our inside information says that uh, the report was was received and was upheld uh, as the way forward uh, the information is still very sketchy as to what is the way forward on that report we are still trying to gather the correct information from those who are closer to president Lorenz from those who comes from the uh, protocols and uh, I believe by the end of the day today I will have, have concrete information as to what exactly were the recommendations because that Saudi community is just a public uh, relations exercise uh, substantive issues are not uh, uh, put up there in the public uh, some issues some information we have is that there was an impasse. Uh, it was not conclusive as the way forward, uh, but uh, the report was accepted as a true reflection of what happened uh, in Zimbabwe. So a lot of interpretations from different 
uh, media houses here from different uh, individuals. It's very difficult also to get some of the proper information because of the language barrier. Portuguese is the main language in, in, in Angola here. Yeah? Some of the things they talk, <laughs> we hardly hear most of us who are English speakers. But the fact remains that uh, uh, it didn't uh, uh, go well for Mr. Mnangagwa on some of the discussions. Uh, we are yet to establish uh, more concrete facts uh, as the day progress. That is the voice of Trust Novo, Triple C, Chairperson for South Africa Province. However, what he is saying flies in the face of what President Emerson Nangakwa said, uh, speaking to the Herald newspaper. President Nangakwa said, although there were attempts by some officials uh, within SAT to have Zimbabwe on the agenda, there was absolutely nothing about the country. And this seems to tie in with what some sources of AVG News who are privy to the discussions at the SAT event uh, said that Zimbabwe was not discussed at the summit.